Hello everyone. How's everyone doing? Now, for the past week, I was stuck in a safe mode loop with my PS4. Whenever I turned it on, it just went straight to safe mode and it was only giving me the option of reinitializing my PS4 and reinstalling the system software update. If you're having that file, you need to reinstall the system update if you're having that challenge, okay? Now, what I did, and with a few help from some persons on YouTube, shout out to y'all, Mr. Goody, Steve at Tronics Fix, my mate Vince, and the others. Now, I came to the conclusion that I needed a new hard drive. A new hard drive. I was using this 500 gigabyte hard drive in it. This was a busted hard drive that I was having the problems with. A friend of mine loaned me a 250 gig hard drive, which that was no better. That was no better. It did take the update file and everything, but it was super slow. It was super slow to copy and everything. Now, my advice was get a new hard drive. All right. So you purchase a new hard drive. All right. You take out the old hard drive, which I've already done over here, but there's a screw here, a PlayStation screw. It has the PlayStation symbols on it, tri triangle, square, O, X. You're going to remove the screw, all right, with a Phillips screwdriver. Simple. Remove the screw, uh, a little bit more. You remove that screw, and you pop this tray out, the caddy, all right, and you're going to install, insert your new hard drive in this. There are four little screws here at the sides. You just pull them out and you put in the new hard drive and which would be the old one. You take out the old one. See the sides? That's where the screws are. So once you have your new hard drive, you're going to pop it back in. Pop your new hard drive in. Return the screw to its normal position, tighten it, there we go, you fit it back in. Now that's step one out of the way. You're going to need a flash drive, alright, of about 16 gig or more, and it needs to be in the FAT32 format. All right, you're going to go to the PlayStation.com website, click on Help, click on Update, and then you're going to select the full installation software update. All right, agree to terms and download. You're going to save it on your computer in a file or in a folder rather. You're going to create a folder named PS4. Inside that folder, you're going to create another folder called Update, and all your folder's name should be in all caps, all capital letters. The file that you're going to download from the PlayStation website, now, that's going to be about a thousand megabytes, all right? So that's at least, yeah, about a thousand megabytes, at least one gigabyte. So you're going to download that file and save it inside the Update folder. That file should be named ps4update.pup. It will come as that name. Just ensure that your computer doesn't rename it, all right? Then, here we go. You're going to pop your flash drive in with the, with the software. You're going to insert your cable. Beautiful cable. All right. Connect your controller. Uh, there we go. And my controller here and bear with me I'm recording from my phone and this is just to help guys who are going through or girls who are going through what I was going through for the past week so we've replaced our hard drive we've downloaded the update from the website we've created both folders PS4 and inside the PS4 folder we have update and inside the update folder we have the file that we downloaded from the PlayStation website. Pop them in. And now we're going to turn on our PS4 in safe mode. So, hold on. I need to plug it back in. All right, there we go. 
plug it back in. And now you're gonna press your button. That's the first beep. You're gonna hold it until you get to the second beep. There we are. You can let go now. This should lead us to safe mode on or screen. Now if you'll excuse me, let me just check my source here. TV signal, source, HDMI 3, there we go. Now, press the PS button on your controller, boom. Normally, if you were having that problem, you would only have this one. Only that option would be available. So, we're gonna initialize and reinstall system software. Yes. Okay. Give it a few minutes, oh, a few seconds rather. So you just need a bit of patience. But once you follow all these steps, you will be okay. What it's doing now is ensuring that it's reading the flash drive that we inserted all right so once the flash drive is read it's going to take you to another screen and why i'm not editing i want to ensure that everybody knows the process and the time and I mean, it's worth the wait. If you're waiting for as long as I see some guys are waiting, there we go. Now here it says the PS4 will be initialized. All users and all data will be deleted. Are you sure you want to continue? Since we're using a new hard drive, there's no problem here. However, if you have access to your old hard drive, just back them up, save them on a computer or on a flash drive, and you can always put them on later on for the real big time gamers. Yes, we want to do that. Here, our PS4 is going to initialize. And we can put that down. And we wait. Quickly initialized. Preparing to update system, which means that is copying the software update. All right, copying it to the hard drive. Once that is copied, there we go. Be going on. Now, before this, when I was using the 250 gigabyte hard drive, uh -huh, this took me at least 12 hours, at least 12 hours. All right, now we're at 99%. And it would take another 12 for it to update the system. There we are, your screen should go blank. Then it's gonna come on and check your storage status quickly as well. So now we're on. Over here is where they're gonna update itself. I think my HDMI cable is a bit faulty, but no problem, I'll just replace it. Installing update file, do not turn off the PS4 during installation. After the installation has been completed, the PS4 will automatically restart. Now, as I said, I have a faulty HDMI cable, so bear with me. We continue, we're now at 12%. So I just fixed it, guys, and I said I had to share this with everyone, with everyone. So whosoever is having these problems, if your hard drive is moving slowly or your system, if it's a new hard drive, it's probably too small. So my recommendation is 500 gig the least. That should be the lowest. That's what PS PlayStation sent, sent it out with. Let's not go below that. And I was also informed that we could go up to two terabytes. So in the near future, I do plan to upgrade. Yep. So it's installing the update file. Yeah, probably another two minutes. 
also, I was informed by one of my friends on YouTube that Sony also upgrades the output of the video quality. So probably that's why what's making my HDMI cable behave like that. Because what I have, the TV that I'm using now, as we speak, is a Samsung TV. I had to bring that one up from the basement. But the one that I have inside my room here is an LG. Now LG does not, well this LG does not support the high quality that is put out by the PS4. So once I'm done set up, I'll have to change the system resolution to about 480 probably to work with it because I, I like it. It's, it. it's not the best, but I like it. Samsung is the best, but as you can see, I need a proper stand for that. So once that stand is up, we should be good. 83%. And as I said, guys, if you're using a two terabyte, it's it's already done. Or probably a one terabyte, it's already done. 500 gig, and we're going pretty fast for my liking. I can tell you that. 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Excuse that guy. Now, your PS4 is all installed with the new software. It is gonna initialize and restart. You should hear your, oh, your hard drive running. Yep. Now we're gonna restart. You can hear the hard drive running. Updating system storage. Do not turn off the PS4. That was quick. And believe me, guys, if it was the 320, 250 gig, <laughs> we wouldn't even have started this yet, man. We wouldn't. There's a PlayStation symbol. Now your PS4 is going to start like a brand new PS4. There you go. There's that lovely sound. There's that. Can you hear it? And there we go. Now, all you got to do is set up your PS4. You're going to press the button on your controller. Boom. There we go. And once you press the button, your controller is pretty much, much attached. As a matter of fact, I'm going to attach both of my controllers now. Uh-huh. I have another one here. Ah, there we go. Boom. And that's that. Now we're going to go through our setup. I prefer the British version. Jamaican anyway, so you don't know. English, skip that. Checking network environment. This is where you set up your internet connection. Later on, I'm just gonna use a LAN cable. So I'm gonna select set up later. I do not have a camera, skip that. I use the central time, US, Canada. Boom, that's the time and the date. Ah, forget that. Skip that, and I'm accepting the user agreement. Setup of your PS4 is complete. Enjoy the, an exciting world of entertainment. Start now. We go now. See health and safety warnings. Now, I'm using user one. I had connected this controller first, so there we are. And user one is already logged in. There we are, brand new PS4. So I hope this was very helpful for you guys. Share the link, please subscribe to my channel and let's get to figuring out stuff together. All right, peace, yeah man, anytime.